Now, uh, there are several classifications of state law. First is, uh, as to its purpose, it can either be substantive law or procedural law. Now, itong mga substantive law, uh, these, are, uh, these are the laws that give rights or gives rise to obligation, mga ganun. Basically, every act of Congress, uh, most of the acts of Congress are considered as substantive law. Now, uh, procedural laws, on the other hand, are usually uh, laws in the loose sense which uh, guide the procedures in the courts, for example. Uh, example of this are the rules of court, which are technically promulgated by the uh, by the by the judiciary, but with the powers vested in them in the in the constitution. Itong mga itong mga procedures na to, the rules of court, the rules of uh, uh, the iba't ibang rules under the rules of court, like rules on civil procedure, uh, rules on criminal procedure, and all of these pro procedural laws are there to uh, to regulate yung ano or to uh, to regulate yung ano yung conduct ng enforcement of rights. So that is classification according to purpose. And uh, as to the classification as a subject matter, laws can either be public law or private law. The public laws are laws that govern the relations of humans uh, in relation to the state, of, of people in relation to the state. For example, uh, these are the laws that uh, govern yung ano natin, yung uh, how how will our relation be with the with the government with the state ano uh these public laws include yung uh, international law and criminal law now for example in criminal law actually when there is a crime committed hindi lang yung uh hindi lang yung parties ang involved ang uh, ang tunay na parties to the suit but actually even the state for example may pinatay ka uh that there is uh there is a murder or homicide charge against you pero uh does it mean na uh ang offend mo lang doon ay yung taong napatay mo well uh according to according to the principles of criminal law hindi ganon uh when you commit a crime against a, a a person you actually you are committing a crime against the state because you are uh being a you're being um, an enemy or you are causing uh, public disorder. And that's where the, 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 the state comes in. Kaya nga pag sa mga kasong criminal, when, these are, when, when there are criminal cases, these are usually uh, named uh, Republic, uh, the people of the Philippines versus, uh, versus you, for example. Uh, people of the Philippines versus Bautista, kung ako. Why is that? Ang kalaban natin dito in a criminal case is not just the uh, is not just yung offended party but also the state because you are causing uh, disorder sa, sa society in general. You are being a danger to society in general. So, buong society ang affected in these criminal laws. And that's what makes it public law because uh, it regulates the uh, the relationship between the state and and men in general so uh private laws uh, regulate the uh, the relationship between private individuals so one classic example dito is civil law wherein uh, usually they deal with uh, issues of property uh marriage uh debts or uh, obligations contracts so kaya nga makikita natin diyan sa sa ating ano sa ating free as ating outline that law on obligations and contracts is actually an example of private law because it uh, regulates uh, it um it deals with the relations ng private individuals or private entities uh with each other so 
most most of the time walang uh, wala masyadong pakialamang state dyan except uh, of course if yung enforcement of rights na pinag-uusapan but basically these private laws uh, affect private persons in relation to another private person so that is the that is where law on obligations and contracts uh, enter so um Again, so, kung mapapansin natin, we already discussed yung concepts, whether what is law in the general sense and what is law in the uh, in the, in the the specific sense. Uh, what are the yung characteristics of law? Being uh, a rule of conduct, uh, it, it is obligatory, promulgated by legitimate authority, and uh, of common observance and benefit, the sources of, uh, sources of law, the constitution, legislations, executive orders, and judicial decisions. And finally, the classification of laws. Now, uh, again, there are two subclassifications, as to purpose and as to subject matter. Uh, as to purpose, it can either be substantive law and pro- or procedural law. Uh, by the way, law on obligations and contracts is an example of substantive law. And as to subject matter, public uh, either public law or private law. Uh, as you have said a while ago, uh, private law, uh, civil law is under private law, and ob- law and obligations and contracts is under civil law. So, law and obligations and contracts are what we call, uh, are what we consider as private laws. So, in order to understand uh, how this, uh, how the law works in general, we I think we need to uh, discuss these basic legal principles. Uh, first is that Ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. This means that uh, you cannot uh, you cannot use ignorance as a defense whenever uh, whenever you violate the law, because uh, your ignorance of the law does not excuse you from complying with what is required under the law. So um, you are not excused, kahit hindi mo alam, and that is. Uh, and that is because I think this this rule is because uh, we can always uh, people can always claim that they are ignorant that they do not know the law so makakalusot sila lagi so th- I think this is a very important b- very important principle that you should that everyone should know uh, number two if there is no law or if the law is unclear the judge or court should nonetheless render judgment gaya nung nasabi ko kanina uh one source of law is the interpretation of the courts or the supreme the uh, in general in particular the supreme court when it comes to ambiguities or yung mga hindi malinaw na mga provisions ng batas or if there is none uh, the court is still required to render judgment kahit na walang batas na, sum- na, na tumutukoy sa isang bagay but given na uh, mat- medyo matagal-tagal na rin ng ating legal system uh, perhaps there there is little ano use for this pero again once na hindi hindi marino yung batas or the, there's no law the judge or the court may should always render judgment nonetheless and finally if there's doubt uh in the in the laws ang presumption is that the legislators intended right and justice to prevail ibig sabihin uh the intention of the legislators is uh, kung ano ang tama at kung ano ang just, yun ang magpe-prevail. Yun ang, uh, yun ang kailangan sundin. So, in, in uh, the court, in interpreting yung mga laws na ginagawa ng legislature, they have to make, they have to consider this, na yung kung ano man ang just in the situation, yun ang susundin. So, these are the legal principles na kailangan natin malaman. Uh, in the Philippines, there are there are uh, various courts that uh, where you can file cases. So first is we have there we have the regular courts. In the regular court system, the highest court is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the uh, in the Philippines. And uh, this means that uh, you cannot af- appeal your. Uh, your case further if tapos nang i-resolve yun sa Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, uh, in general, only uh, only entertains questions of law. 
if ay uh, mga ma- yung mga ano lang yung mga uh, provisions of law lang ang di-discuss nila diyan and the Supreme Court is not a trier of facts ibig sabihin the Supreme Court will not judge will ad- will not judge whether uh whether a claim whether your position is correct or not whether your i mean whether the facts that you are saying are correct or not because the supreme court is not a trier of facts it is a trier of law so only legal questions are usually uh raised to the supreme court level so court of appeals naman the court of appeals is an appeals court ibig sabihin uh wala siyang uh court of or uh, court of uh, original jurisdiction uh court of appeals receives appeals from the regional trial courts uh usually so the court of appeals uh there is only one court of appeals although it is divi- divided into several divisions and the more common ones the more common courts are the regional trial courts and metro uh, and municipal trial courts there are uh These are the first level courts in a sense that uh, dito nag-originate yung mga kaso na naia-appeal sa higher courts. So uh, there are of uh, there are some matters that uh, are that are resolved in the municipal trial court level and there are matters that are resolved in the regional trial court the trial court trial court levels. For example, uh, In criminal cases, sa ang jurisdiction ng municipal trial, co- trial courts are six years and below. Yung mga ang penalty ng mga krimen ang penalties are six years and below. Dito sa municipal trial courts, while sa regional trial courts, dos yung mga medyo mas uh, matataas like six uh, above six years ang penalty. So uh, nakadepende sa klase ng case kung saan siya mapupunta kung sa municipal trial court or sa regional trial courts. Another is, uh, there are what we call special courts. There are two special courts in the Philippines. We have uh, the Sandigan Bayan for uh, for uh, public of, uh, for offenses involving public officials, and Court of Tax Appeals uh, for cases uh, uh, for tax related cases. And finally, we have what we call quasi-judicial courts, or uh, these are actually under the executive department, but they have, uh, they have, uh, they have the authority to adjudicate or mag- to act as judges on certain matters relating to their expertise. For example, in uh, for election protest, we have. Uh, Comelec for uh, labor disputes meron tayong NLRC kung me, uh, related to franchises we have the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board or LTFRB and for traffic violations we have the Land Transportation Office so these are in a sense these are the uh, these are uh, executive de- uh, they are they are agencies under the executive department but they have quasi judicial powers ibig sabihin they can uh, adjudicate yung mga kaso where they have an expertise they ha- they supposedly have an expertise in bago dumaan sa mga ano bago dumaan sa courts yung kaso they must go through the judicial uh, quasi judicial bodies first so uh, as a as a note here uh, sa baba These courts follow a certain order where one cannot go directly go to a higher court without passing through the lower courts. This is what we call the higher doctrine of hierarchy of courts. So again, uh, a petition cannot go directly sa Supreme Court. Or for example, if it's a traffic violation, hindi pa rin pumunta agad yan sa courts. They must go through the quasi-judicial bodies first. Uh, for example, um, Uh, a murder case cannot go immediately to the Court of Appeals or the Supreme Court because it has to pass through first the lower courts. So that is what uh, we mean by the doctrine of hierarchy of courts. So uh, now we have a, a working idea of how the legal system works. So uh, 
hopefully this uh this general this very gen- general uh discussion of what what the law is where it comes from what are the what uh, about the what's uh what happens in the philippine legal system um i hope with that we can start with uh we can start discussing uh law and obligations and contracts with enough knowledge to uh with enough knowledge to understand what the what the what the law is about i know so uh for next meeting we will be discussing obligations so thank you for listening Thank you.